Okay, so I am on a reef kick. I thought I would make me a ice crystal reef. I have these streams, these little things here. I'm not quite sure what to do with them, so I'm going to turn them into a reef. So I'm going to make an icy crystal reef. And this is how it is, so I'm probably going to have to go in and pull this apart. And then there'll be individual strings of crystal like this. It almost puts me in the mind of my foxtails that I have. So again, I'm going to use some wire and create, and create me a base or a ring of the size that I want the... Make this in three different times around instead of two like I did um, the other one I made for the kitchen. So I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this around three times. And then I'm debating if I wanna add something under the crystal. A few more times than three times. I'll just use all of this wire that I have right here just to make Let's make it a little bigger. Make it that size. Then I'll go ahead. This wire is super easy. I could just use scissors to cut it. But I'm going to go ahead and twist this to make it, um, whenever it becomes even, I'm going to twist it together and then we're going to start placing. I'm probably going to take the crystals and start wiring it around the wire like this. I'm not sure because I see too much of the wire, but I don't know if I, by the time I add the crystals on there, would I see less wire because I just want to see crystals, not the actual wire. But I'm going to straighten this out. ring I created, and this is how it looks. So I was debating if I want to add the silver picks and then put the crystals or just make it a completely crystallized. Um, thing. I think I'm going to use these particular string lights let me sh um, for my reef. I just love adding string lights on there. So I may put these down first and then go in and add the crystals. So this is how the stream lights look. They're like little silver beads. The little silver beads and I'm just gonna place it on the ring I'm gonna twist twist it around the ring first and then wind it all the way through Okay, so this is the first layer, which is the lighting. Okay, so that's the first layer of the reef. So now I'm going to go in and these, the crystals, I'm going to go ahead and just lay it on the the reef Now how I'm going to secure it, I'm going to just use some more wire. Okay, I am going to, I have these icy looking, I'm not quite sure, it looks like ice that's on this wire. So what I did was just twist it around on this edge and now I'm just going to go and twist it around to secure it. 
move the ice over some. I'm gonna twist it on. Just twisted it around just to hold it. And now the extra, I'm just gonna take the extra and put it towards the top. It has a loop on it, so I may use that as the hanger. So I'm just gonna twist it. It's some wire right here. I'm just gonna add it under this wire here. And now that may that may be my hanger. I'm still trying to figure out how to hide this battery pack. So I don't know. But now I'm just gonna let the ice, icy sickles just hang. Just arrange them and let them hang down just like that. I untwisted one that was at the top. I add the, the extra piece right here in the middle. So I'm gonna play around with it and get it, but you see it's gonna be hanging. And so I may take this icy looking snowflake and try to use it to hide the battery pack, even though you can still see it through. But that's the only idea I came up with was putting the snowflake at the top and adding the reef that way. I mean, adding hiding a battery pack that way. What I'm doing is sticking the battery pack in between some of these wires that I have wrapped here in the back. So, okay, so now the battery pack is, is the battery pack is on there in between some wire. And this snowflake has a little baby snowflake hanging on the bottom of it as well. Okay, so this is how I ended up using the crystal garland to begin with. Of course, I may change it and move it around in different spots. Um, but these crystals, you can stand them up. They are wired. So I do like that. I can just go in and hang it up. I did remove the centerpiece of the crystal garland for now. I may take this apart and figure out how to wrap this brown here. It did have some faux snow or faux glitter or glitter um, on some parts of it. I'm not quite sure if you'll see it, but it works for now. I just set it on this mosaic vase here, and I think it, fit. it was a perfect size, but again, I may take it off, put it above my stove, just move it around. But I think it turned out so beautiful. And I already showed you guys this tablescape, so it just went so perfect with this. This is when I glammed out YouTube. This was the tablescape, so check out that video. And I hope you guys enjoyed this impromptu kind of crystal y like gar um, reef. So pretty. So I will be using this in different ways. Again, I may redo it and try to cover the brown, but for now, it's so pretty. I hope you guys enjoy. Make sure you turn your bell on, because I've been uploading so much. And if you're not already subscribed to the channel, please do so. And I want to thank you guys so much for rocking out with me on this beautiful video. And I will speak to you guys very, very soon. Mm -hmm.